Here's a strategy for securing a broad patent so that your competitors can't make a simple change and design around your patent. First, you want to build a patent portfolio and not just obtain one patent. This sounds expensive, but I'm going to show you my strategy on how to do so while on a tight budget. Oftentimes, when people think about patent protection, they think about the cost for the entire process. They think, they can't afford that. Let's just not get a patent. However, this would be an error. The patent process is a marathon. You should think about the timing of these costs because you'll spend your money over a long period of time. If it costs $60,000 to build a patent portfolio, but that money is spent over the course of 10 years, it becomes much more affordable. Let me explain in a little bit more detail. Your patent portfolio won't be built within the first few years. Rather, it will be built over many years and possibly over two decades. You also won't file for multiple patents all at once. You'll go after them one at a time and one after the other. This way, the patent costs are stretched out over many, many years. Second, you'll want to spend your time and energy in getting patent protection on what I call the design constraints. Don't waste your money on protecting every little aspect of your idea. Spend it only on the important aspects. When you protect your design constraints, you protect the essence of your invention. In this way, your patent application can dig deep into the nuances of your design constraints and allow you to claim your invention as broadly as possible. To help focus your energy and money, you should do a patent search. It'll show you what areas of your idea you need to focus on and which aspects of your invention you can just simply ignore. Lastly, you'll want to use broad claim language in your patent. However, this is easier said than done. In my opinion, your first patent should not have the broadest claim language as possible. Rather, the claim language should be broad enough to protect your field of use or what we call your vertical market. If your claim language is so broad that it covers other vertical markets, then you generally will have a lot of rejections and spend a lot of time and money arguing with the examiner. Don't worry. As you build your portfolio, you have the chance to broaden your claim language so that it does cover other vertical markets. It's just that the claim language in your first patent should be directed to the market that you're targeting. This will make it less costly in general to secure. What I've discussed so far is a brief introduction. To learn more about how you can build your patent portfolio, subscribe to this channel.